What is going on YouTube? All right, got some recent Yankee pickups that I uh, think you guys will like, so uh, let's get started. So uh, the first one I got is this uh, Panini Flawless Tony Lazari, numbered 1 out of 20. It's got the uh, little diamond there. So that was definitely a little, you know, cool card. You see it's still sealed in the case there. So, uh, yeah, that was a nice little pickup. Tony Lazari, obviously, uh, Hall of Famer for the uh, Yankees back in the day. He was part of the uh, Murderer's Row 1927 Yankees. So that, is, uh, that was a cool little pickup. All right, so the next one I got... Uh, Guy I know was selling off some of his uh, old TTMs, so I scooped some from him pretty cheap. This is a uh, Bobby Brown autograph card. You know, now Bobby Brown, um, pretty epic life to say the least, and the man is still alive. He actually served in World War II and Korea. Now, when I say served, I'm not talking about that bullshit. Uh, go and play in exhibition games to boost the morale of troops and stuff. I'm talking about in combat, World War II and Korea. That's badass. Not only that, you know, he's obviously uh, played for the Yankees. I believe he played from 46 to 54, if memory serves me correctly. And, uh, you know, never, never Hall of Fame worthy, but he was definitely a, a solid player to say the least. But uh, while he was playing, he was also going to school to uh, earn his medical degree he actually became a doctor he became a heart surgeon um and after that in 1984 he became the uh president of the american league and he was the president from 1984 to 1994 that is a hell of a life and like i said the uh the man is still alive so that is uh that is cool but always had a lot of respect for uh for a man like him, to say the least. Definitely a full life right there. And the last thing I have for you guys is a uh, signed postcard of Wait Hoyt, who was also um, part of the Murderer's Row crew. Now, uh, Wait Hoyt played on a lot of different teams. He, I believe uh, he's, his rookie year was with the Giants. Uh, you know, he... he he went to like the Red Sox, but he was with the Yankees the longest. He was with the Yankees from 1921 to 1930, and then he was on, you know, he was on like Detroit for a while. I think he was on Philadelphia for a while. Um, he went back to the Giants in 32, which is when I think this photo was, uh, was taken because you see him in the uh, Giants uniform. But uh, yep, he was a Hall of Famer, also great pitcher in the uh, 1921 World Series. He pitched three complete games, didn't allow a single earned run in all three games. And I'm talking about full games. So that's 27 innings, 27 World Series innings. Didn't allow a single earned run. That is badass, to say the least. And this is cool. And I'll tell you what, for a Hall of Famer, certified and slabbed by PSA, I got this signature for $21. I am dead serious. I paid $21 for this. I mean, it just amazes me. I mean, how much did the guy even pay to get this slabbed? You know? But, uh, not my problem, man. I'm not turning it down. That is awesome. You know? And on top of all that, this guy was really, really good friends with Babe Ruth. Back when they were on the team together. They used to room together sometimes. And uh, now, now Wade Hoyt had passed away, I think, I think in 84, if I remember correctly. But apparently he was like the best guy to go to if you wanted to hear stories about Babe Ruth. You know, a lot of uh, Babe Ruth biographers would go to Wade Hoyt and, uh, you know, talk to him. Because apparently he had the best stories because uh, he was very close to Ruth back in those days. So that was definitely an awesome pickup, to say the least. So, uh, all right, that's all I got today, YouTube. So, uh, really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.